President Trump heads to New Hampshire today to push his plan to fight the opioid epidemic. This plan reportedly includes the death penalty for drug dealers. Joining us now, the author of Understanding Trump. His name is Newt Gingrich, with whom we are all familiar on the program. Newt, the president seems to be going with his gut. I think, would you agree with that, and do you approve of that approach? Well, look, I, I do think he, he basically is looking at a huge problem. Uh, we're losing more people every year to the opioid epidemic than we lost at the peak of the Vietnam War. Uh, we're losing actually seven times as many people every year uh, as were killed on 9-11. And the president, when he turns to something, he gets very determined and very tough. Um, he's going to propose, I think, a comprehensive program. He's going to include, I think, things like medication-assisted treatment for addicts who want to get off the addiction. I think he's uh, also going to look uh, at other steps we need to take. But frankly, uh, when you realize there are people making a lot of money off of killing Americans, I think we have every right to defend ourselves. Singapore has followed a very ruthless, very tough anti-drug policy, and the objective fact is it works. Uh, and I think we have to be prepared to defend Americans from being killed. Okay. Now, President Trump is uh, tweeting about uh, the Russia probe and special counsel Robert Mueller. Here it is. It came out first thing this morning. A total witch hunt with massive conflicts of interest. That's from the president today. Newt, what would be the consequences if the president did fire Robert Mueller? Oh, it would be a disaster. Uh, look, the president would be very well advised to, to quit tweeting about Mueller. The president's got great stuff to tweet about. We've had two million people leave food stamps and go to work. We've had the lowest black unemployment, second lowest black unemployment last month in American history. Uh, he's helping create jobs everywhere. Uh, he's doing a terrific job of, of uh, having the courage uh, to open new negotiations with North Korea. He's got tons of good stuff to talk about. He does as much to make the Mueller investigation matter as anybody. And he ought to just drop it, uh, decide for the next 90 days, quit talking about it, and talk about all the good things that his administration is getting done. But you can understand the man's frustration. I mean, there's no collusion. It doesn't, no the president. But, and it, Come on. It, just, it never Come goes on. away. It's being United used States. as a club to beat the man over the head with all the time. Fine. Fine. He's the president of the United States. He's a big boy. He ran for this job. Uh, the fact is that there, you have to ask a simple question. Does it help his cause or hurt his cause mm -hmm. for him to draw attention to Mueller? My judgment is that it hurts his cause, that yeah. it actually weakens him. Uh, is he frustrated? Sure, look, I'm frustrated. I thought Mueller was going to be a fair shooter. I tweeted at the time he was going to be a fair shooter. He goes out and hires nothing but Democrat lawyers. Uh, he goes after Republicans in ways that are grotesque. He, he has the, the FBI break in at 3 in the morning to a cooperative witness. I mean, uh, Mueller's done very strange things. But I don't think it's the president's advantage for him to talk about it. He's got... The president has a ton of good things to say, and he covers it up by talking about Mueller. He ought to talk about the stuff that is very positive that is happening in this country. Okay. Uh, another one for you, Newt. The federal judge who presided over Michael Flynn's case last year had a relationship with anti-Trump FBI official Peter Strzok. I'm just going to quote the text messages about this. Here we go. Rudy is on the fisk, as in the FISA court. Did you know that? Page texted struck on July 20, 25th, 2016. Just appointed two months ago. Struck replies, I did. We talked about it before and after. I need to get together with him. What on earth is going on here? A senior FBI official involved in these in investigations having to get together, must socialize with a judge on the FISA court? Is that not a smoking gun of collusion? Well, look, all the stuff, and by the way, I was very struck yesterday uh, in an interview that uh, Maria Bartiromo did with uh, Chairman Goodlatte. And Chairman Goodlatte said they've, they've, they've asked for a million two hundred thousand documents. They've so far only gotten three thousand. Now that tells me, uh, and by the way, the, the thing you just read had been redacted for political reasons, and they only got it in the last couple of days yep. in the open version. Everything I'm seeing tells me there really is a deep state. The deep state really is trying to protect itself. Uh, and, and as you peel back the layers, it gets sicker and sicker. 
um, I think that it makes you ask, raise the question about Flynn's entire conviction. They, they apparently went to the judge using the so-called Steele memo, which we now know was a lie in a campaign document. They apparently were trying to deal with the judge they thought they could manipulate. Uh, the whole case strikes me as more and more dubious, and I think Flynn has a pretty good grounds to ask for a pardon because it, it's now so tainted that you have to wonder uh, how they got the conviction. I just keep going back to it. I do understand the president's exasperation at the endless Mueller probe. I take your point, Newt, but the other side of the coin is this vast deep state conspiracy to, uh, to undermine the incoming president but, and protect Hillary. I mean, you can understand the man's frustration. But, 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 but look, no, I understand his frustration, but you know, his job as president is to rise above that and do what works, not what makes him feel good. But he's the, not like the that. fact is, he, he, that get, this, he gets, he gets down to the nitty gritty. Fall. He gets on his Twitter account and he gets right down and dirty I and he's know, mixing just, it up I'm with everybody. Saying, look, and, uh, go ahead. Last word to I'm you. I'm giving you my profession. I'm giving you giving you my professional judgment, which is this thing is falling apart of its own weight. Uh, the McCabe firing is one more piece. That wasn't Trump. That was the inspector general of the FBI saying this guy ought to be fired. Now, day by day, this thing's falling apart. The president ought to focus on things that are successful, let the thing fall apart on its own. And I think by the end of the year, uh, we'll be in a different world. By the end of the year. Oh, Newt, the end of the year. <laughs> I mean, that's nine months away. Good Lord. Anyway. Um, yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> we agree. Definitely, sir. Newt Gingrich, you're all right. And I'm sure we'll see you again soon. Thank you.